First, 30 years ago, an arts organization in Wrigleyville called Lynx Hall gave emerging dancers a small studio to create big ideas. Today, that intimate space is home to a cross-section of artists who are challenged to have an anything-goes approach to performing. Here's Christian Farr on the Artbeat. Disemployment has seen a steady growth while franchisement plummets down the well. On top of all of that, the energy food shortage has got us all depressive. We could all use some kind of upper. I've been developing the piece for the past year, and I would call it a physical theater performance. And it's based on a painting by Paul Clay called Angelus Novus, and um, some related writings by the German philosopher Walter Benjamin. The piece is a modern dance piece. It revolves around the stigmas attached to modern dance. Things like modern dance isn't real dance, uh, because the technique is very different. This performance is a question we're asking about why people are uh, victims of racism and class prejudice. My inspiration was to try to, to explore a, a new world that engage contemporary African dance. Christian Bambara, C.Y. Lee, and Angeline Gregazin are what some might call experimentalists. They have spent the past year utilizing this intimate studio space as a cradle for creative development and performance in the Link Up program at Lynx Hall. Lynx Hall is a performance space uh, that's been in the Wrigleyville neighborhood for 30 years. We support new forms of performance, uh, often with uh, an experimental bent. Uh, we're strongly committed to dance and movement work, but our programming extends across a lot of performance areas like puppetry, new music, spoken word, film, and so it's really covering a lot of different artistic disciplines. And we're really interested in work that's taking new approaches uh, to performance. It's not the standard traditional model of theater with the playwright. It's sometimes there's very strong collaborative forms which are being explored. Um, and there needs to be space for this new approach to expression. Chicagoan and Brooklyn-based artist Baraka Desole is a Lynx Hall artistic associate. He is the curator of the Studies in Black series, a month-long festival that takes an artistic approach to the realities and the stereotypes of blackness. It includes dance, spoken word, film, performance, music, uh, but the entire program is uh, focused on looking at different notions of blackness in performance and how black artists are approaching different experimental um, forms in performance. I think it's important in terms of waking a consciousness around uh, what black is right now. The study of it has been largely about sometimes the opposition to whiteness. And so for me, this is not about just saying oppose opposition to whiteness. It's about really uh, re basking in and embracing the expansive notion of blackness, both the stereotypes that we've lived with from the mammy to the minstrel and both the, the most expansive places. I thought about Kool-Aid because Kool-Aid is a, uh, becoming, it is like a pop icon of so the Kool-Aid man is almost up there with Oprah and Mickey Mouse and Michael Jackson. It is, you know, uh, this little packet of stuff that you make that turns into something really big. You know, for me, thinking of culturally of black people, um, we take stuff and we make it, we make it our own, we make it something special. The underside of that is that then you, we are now dying from the series of diabetes, this, this, this fixation with sugar, this, now this comfort thing that does not necessarily comfort us anymore. It is like uh, attached to that is not only just Kool-Aid, but I call Kool-Aid love, which is being off of something and not knowing what it is. Desole is using the Lynx Hall studio to rehearse for an outdoor performance where he and his actors combine Kool-Aid love with a piece that explores the relationship between the black male and black female. Often we find that artists uh, who are based elsewhere take a different or distinct approach to their work from what is happening in Chicago and sharing that work with our audiences and, and local based artists uh, can be a really fertile communication. <laughs> Lynx Hall also hopes that the artists see the importance of the work 
and the relevance of turning the smallest notion into a larger success. I just think it's really important for a voice to be out there that people can produce whatever they would like without having to feel that it's not up to par with some of the other dancing out there. It gives people uh, an added voice in the community that otherwise they would not be able to have. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Christian Fawn. The final performance of the Studies in Black Festival at Lynx Hall is this Sunday night at 7. For more information, you can go to our website.